Hey, Jeff Gibbons here with another machine video. And in this one, I'm going to show you something I'm quite excited about. And that is running Reason 11 as a rack device inside machine. So I'm using the latest version of the Reason rack plugin, which is an audio units version and is Mac only. So unfortunately, this doesn't apply to the PC users. It gives you access to the whole library that comes with Reason. And if you get the Reason suite, version, then you get a whole lot of these rack extensions as well as some other synthesizers and stuff. But you also have access now to their extension store. It's just another format for smaller creators to create virtual instruments or effects. But let's dig into this and see how Reason actually works inside machine. So I'm going to start from scratch here. And in order to load Reason, what you would need to do normally is you'd go to the instruments section. That's where we would hope to find our synthesizers. But the way it works is you've got your instruments here, but they're going to be all the native instruments ones that actually pop up in the browser. So the ones you're going to see on the machine hardware and on the software. But what we can do is go over to right where the little plus symbol is under sound. Make sure you're on the sound menu. Click the little plus button. And then you're going to go down to your list and you're going to see Reason Studios, Reason Rack, Plugin, AU, or Audio Units. So I'm going to click on that one right there. And then what I can do, and you can do this for any virtual instrument that's not native instruments, is now what we can do is right click on that very same spot and go Save As. And you're going to save this as a Reason Rack plugin preset. So once you've done that, now when you go over to the user menu, you're going to see Reason Rack plugin pop up right there. So now what I could do on the hardware itself is I could go to the browser. And if I wasn't on the user tab and I'm going through my regular browser instruments and stuff like that, if I hit the user tab, now I see Reason Rack plugin pops up. I also did the same thing just now for Omnisphere. And I could do that for any of my virtual instruments. So that's just one way to get some of your other virtual instruments to pop up right from the browser itself. Once you get it loaded, you can either double click on the name or you can just click once on the little arrow. So there is the Reason Rack plugin. The way this works is you've got devices that load up in this virtual rack. So let's try loading up one of the synthesizers. I can see a bunch to choose from right here, or I can go browse instruments. And I'm just going to click on this Europa right here. So there is my first device. This is a synthesizer. And if I have it loaded, I can now go over to my hardware and go over to keyboard mode. And then, of course, I can choose scales. Let's go to Dorian, which is just a fun mode to play in. So, of course, we can play from the pads. We can use the keyboard mode. We can use. We can use the chords mode. We can use the step sequencer. So the next thing you got to do to start looking for sounds is to click on the little browser button. The way this works is you've got over on the left hand side, you can see things grouped by instruments, effects, utilities, players, and then a whole bunch of libraries and then some folders, which are my favorites. Reason has these different libraries that have come out over the years, the factory sounds that contain patches for most of their synthesizers, the orchestra sounds, which are sounds for their orchestra. We've also got drums and loops and then rack extensions. And rack extensions are these synths that are either made by Propellerhead or sorry, that are made by Reason Studios. I better get that right. But these are synthesizers and effects that are made by either them or third party. So anybody can make these extensions and then sell them on their extension store. So you click on the extensions and you'll see the ones that you have installed. And if you get the full version, you get a whole bunch of extensions included in that. This will also show up any extensions that you've purchased. So I purchased like this JPS harmonic synthesizer. It's trying to emulate sounds that Jean-Michel Jarre made and it does a really good job. So there's some really cool sounds in there and it's made by a company called Jiggery Pokery. So let's try one of these ones out. Let's go to Plucks and I'm going to take this patch and instead of double clicking on it, because I can tell right now that my browser doesn't have focus. So if I double click right now, it's going to load another device below the one up top. It's almost like the way contact works. So I'm going to delete that one. And what I can do is either drag this one right on top or if I click on this little browser button so that this thing goes orange and gives it kind of focus. Now, if I double click on one of these other patches, it loads up. 
So that's how you can go through patches quickly. You can also use the arrow keys now. So just arrow down and it will change the patch for you. So that is finding patches within a synthesizer itself. Another thing I should show you in Reason, aside from the devices, is the way that you flip the rack around. And that's something that people love. These cables actually do something, you know? So wherever you route these cables, they are going to actually impact the sound of your synthesizer. You can have a whole bunch of these devices all chained together and you can have one feeding into other parts of other synthesizers, stuff like that. So it's, it's extremely intuitive and extremely powerful. So one of the coolest things about Reason. And they also have made the tab key work again in the Reason Rack plugin, which is so important. So if you want to turn it around, press the tab button. Bunch of new features that were just added in this latest version of Reason. Let's just go over some of the basic instruments that come with Reason. So if I go over to the instruments up top, you'll see we've got a Kong drum designer. So I can drag this one right on top, just like we could do in contact. Now I've got Kong loaded. And in order to load a patch for Kong, I can click this button right here. And that takes me to the Kong patches and I can go start looking for kits. So let's try a Kong 808 kit. I'll just double click on one. So there's my hi-hat. There's my open hat. So that's Kong. Let's have a look at some other synthesizers. We've got the re-drum or red drum. I've heard it called both things. Reason One, one of the first devices. Looks a lot like Rebirth, one of their famous, their first famous synthesizer. And again, if I'm on C1, all of my pads work just as they should. But this has some really basic controls that you can adjust on each kind of cell. It looks a little bit like battery, I guess. So I can go here and change, change the pitch. I can adjust the level of each individual sound. I can pan left and right. I can also use little sends right here. So I could turn up send one. And if I press tab on the back, I can see send output right here. So let me just show you really quickly how to add some effects inside Reason. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to go to built in devices and I'm going to go to reverb. All right. So what I would need here is I would take my send output and I would put that into an audio input of a reverb. And then what I would do is right click and create a utility. I'm going to go to a little mixer. And that little mixer is going to go to the main output. I'm going to take the stereo output of this whole thing and put it to input one. And then now I can see my send is also is going to go into input two. So now I've got send one right here. is now outputting signal to this reverb. And then that's all going to this tiny little mixer inside Reason. So we can see the level right here. We could do some stuff to that if we wanted to as well. But what that means is I now have individual control or sends on every one of these little hits in this redrum thing. So it's kind of like loading a kit in machine as a group and then having each individual sound have the ability to go to an effect of some sort. But I just made this really quickly as sort of a convoluted little thing here, but it's just intuitive, right? It makes sense. So that's one way you can get really quick control over effects, over individual sounds inside this whole kit. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of the routing inside Reason Rack. So of course I could go to this click and put a ton of reverb on that one. And then, and then only a little bit of reverb on this and then a, no, no reverb on the bass drum or whatever. So very cool. That's routing. That's the redrum drum machine. All of these things need basically a video on their own, but let's have a look at some other instruments. 
maybe I will just start with another group and load the Reason Rack plugin. Europa is a synthesizer. We've also got this grain sample manipulator plugin. Double click on that one. It's quite interesting. You can load your own samples into that one. So similar in some ways to Omnisphere or Pad Shop on Cubase. Let's go back over the instruments. We've also got Thor, a polysonic, thins, blah, 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 polysonic synthesizer. So let's try Gangsta Lead. We've got the old ones, the Subtractor and the Maelstrom. I think Maelstrom was version two, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it was version three, something like that. 2.5, for some reason that's sticking in my head. Anyways, Maelstrom, the Subtractor, one of the original analog subtractive synthesis synthesizers. Now there's a whole bunch of other devices that come with the sweet version of Reason. Let's look at Complex One, and this is a modular synthesis synthesizer. So you can see the routing if I show the cables right there on the front and I turn them off if I don't want to see them. Let's have a listen to this patch. So let's say I do want to write something with this. I can go over to machine Cool, that's fun. I really like that patch. I love Boards of Canada, and that's obviously what that's going for. So let's load another one. Go to uh, Browser, and then go to the Reason Rack plugin. Load it up. So many of these synths come with the Reason Suite version, and they're actually really cool. Scenic, another one that comes with it, is awesome. But the other thing you should know is that not only does it come with instruments, it also comes with effects. You could start processing your sounds in machine through the Reason Rack plugin. So we'll go over to Aquarius Earth. A commenter on YouTube, Cameron, pointed out that Aquarius Earth is just a great library, and I have to agree, it's one of my favorite expansions in the machine world. So let's have a look here. <laughs> So what I can do is go over to effects. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the bottom of the list here and I'm gonna add another effect. I'm gonna go to Reason Rack Plugin. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna right click on that and go Save, Reason Rack Plugin Effect and go Save. And so now if I go to the browser under effects and I go to user, I'm gonna see that one pop there as well. So another quick way to access that from the hardware. But once we've got that, double click on it and then now let's go have a look at some effects from Reason. So I'm gonna to go to the browser. And let's try running it through this Audiomatic Retro Transformer. And then let's try putting it on vinyl. We've got dry and wet controls right here. So we can turn it down. This scream distortion was really a fun one back in the day for me too. So let's try the reverb. This reverb is pretty good. I'll turn it down. So there you go. All of the Reason effects now available to you in your machine project. And all of these things can be configured into bigger combinations of devices using something called the Combinator. If we go to Utilities, we'll see the Combinator right at the top, and inside the Combinator, you can load up a whole bunch of different devices all running into each other or having some effects or whatever. Save it as a Combinator patch and then load it up instantly in other projects.
I hope you find this video useful, especially if you're on a Mac and especially if you're a Reason user. You're going to have a lot of fun playing around with some of those old synthesizers that you used to play with a long time ago. You're also going to have fun with all of the new stuff that comes with Reason. There's a ton of new things in there that have popped up over the last few years. So if you've been out for a while, you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the amount of stuff that is in there. Check for future videos on how to's with Machine and with Reason, other software, and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.